Hi, Michael. How are you today? Hi, Deborah Lynn. It's great to see you. Knowing a little bit about your background and the fact that you are both a singer and a voice teacher, what's your thought right now on how we keep ourselves kind of going as singers, you know, with everything that's going on around us? Uh, I point to basically a, a higher calling of what it's all about, and that is uh, art, to be creative and that that is, um, you know, something that we do as humans. It is so important to express ourselves in whatever creative ways that we can. Even if my singing is to delight the four walls of my house or the molecules within or a stray person that stumbles in the door, then it's certainly worth it. Vocally, have you been feeling good in this process yourself? Have you been able to, you know, do your own personal practice of, of warming up and that sort of thing with, with some ease? Um, yeah, I went through uh, about a year ago. I went through <clears throat> where my voice all of a sudden for about four months, it, it, it went higher. And so I'm kind of talking like this all the time. And I, I didn't know what to do with it. I thought, okay, I'm getting older. Maybe this is what's happening. And, and I tried different uh, exercises. As a matter of fact, I, I started exercising more. And I found that by uh, doing uh, about 15 minutes or so of exercising, I could you know, grasp the, the lows that I've always had. So um, it was very important to, to say, okay, I, I have to continue to to do my exercises. I have to continue to vocalize and, and keep it strong. You had quite an extensive operatic career before going into, you, you were singing Barbershop before as I'm yeah. thinking about your history, mm -hmm. but, but then you had this rather wide swath of performance as an opera singer and, and then going into the teaching of beginners and that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to you sharing a bit of your approach with everyone and also just your wisdom and insights right now. My, uh, my approach changes all the time as I see what's, you know, what, what's working, what's a waste of time, what is, uh, what falls flat with people. Um, and as I, you know, look at what is uh, most important to people in their singing, then I have um, changed my approach. It's um, a lot less about mechanics, although I, I um, a lot of times I can go months and, and just talk about communication and uh, freedom and joy and, and real words. Um, and then, you know, always notice whether or not there's some mechanical problem for people and then deal with that. So I'm always changing my, um, my approach over the years. So I, I will look forward to our, our dialogue again when we get to come together with the other panelists and, and have a conversation of, of hope, you know, yeah, hope, and, that. hope and how-tos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. thank you so much for, for being with me today.